Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley with Haley Stitches and today I'm gonna to show you how to do clue number two of the small puzzle mystery quilt. The puzzle mystery quilt is a quilt along through cotton cuts and the fall 2021 theme is Olympia. I am doing the small quilt and my colorway is Nadia, which is a really fun holiday print. The puzzle mystery quilt is not your typical block of the month program. Instead of doing blocks each month, you're actually going to do small sections of the quilt. And in the end, the quilt pattern will reveal itself once you put it all together. I have more information about the puzzle mystery quilt in the description below. Let's get started. Clue two is broken up into two separate sections. There's section 2A and 2B, and we're gonna make two of each section. So the first thing we wanna do is grab our large triangle fabric. So you'll want to grab your fabric B and your fabric H. And for section 2A, we are going to grab our H triangle and lay it upside down and then place our B triangle right next to it. So this is the join where we're going to sew and we're gonna sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. After you sew, press your seam towards the B fabric and we wanna make six of these units. After you have your units from step one, now we wanna take three of these units and piece them together. So this will make one of your section 2A pieces. So we wanna take three of them, put them together like this, and then we're gonna piece them together on these lines here. And once again, we're gonna press down towards the B fabric. So I am going to assemble this together. This is what your section 2A strip should look like now that it's been pieced together. And the last step is to add the ends. So we have our smaller triangles here with our B and H fabric. So you wanna take one of each of those and on the left side, you're going to attach the B fabric Again, sew along this line with a quarter inch seam. And then on the right side, we are going to attach our fabric H fabric and sew along this seam with a quarter inch seam allowance. For both of these end fabrics, you want to press towards the middle. So we're gonna to press towards the middle here. And then on this end, we are going to press towards the middle there. And we will assemble this all together. After assembly, your section 2A piece will look like this. So you'll have two of these, and now we can move on to our section 2B pieces. Now we're ready to move on to section 2B. So it's very similar to section 2A. The fabric placement is just a little bit different. So for 2B, we're going to place our H fabric upside down and our B fabric right next to it. And we're gonna stitch along this join with a quarter inch seam allowance. And again, we are going to press towards the B fabric. Make six of these. And now we have our six units from step one and we want to place them all together side by side just like with the step 2A unit. So we're going to place these all together and we want to sew them together on these lines with a quarter inch seam and press down towards the B fabric. After you've sewn everything together, it will look like this. And now we need to add our end triangles, just like before. So on the left side, you're going to grab your H fabric triangle and sew it on here. Again, pressing towards the middle of your fabric. And then on the right side, we're going to add our fabric B fabric and sew it here pressing to the inside. Once your section 2B strip is all sewn together, it will look like this. So it looks very similar to the section A fabric. And I will pull that down. So this is what your final pieces will look like. You should have two of the 2A and two of the 2B. And remember to label all your pieces so that at the end, assembly will be super easy. I love how quick and easy clue number two was and I'm really excited to get started on clue number three. If you're also participating in the fall 2021 puzzle mystery quilt, I would love to know what colorway you chose. So let me know in the comments below. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos just like it, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all next time. Bye.